Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are finally doing my Project Pan intro for 2024. I have been behind, but I'm finally getting time to sit down and plan out what I want to do for 2024, what I actually want to pan this year, and I actually have time to film. So today is the day that we're filming because it is kind of towards the end of January when I'm able to post this. Uh, I'm filming at the middle of the month, so it's going to be a little closer to the end of the month before I actually get it out. This will be for January and February. I might do like a, an update at the end of each month rather than at the beginning like I normally did, but we'll see. We're going to kind of just play it by ear and see when I get time to update my project. This year, I decided to go ahead and do all my projects in one. I'm not doing a separate 10 pan project and eyeshadow project. All my projects are just in one, mostly just because I don't have enough products to actually do two separate projects. Uh, so this year I'm just going to do the one project. So I do actually have five products that I am wanting to work through and then some eyeshadow goals that I will be explaining to you here in a little bit. So we'll just go ahead and start with the five products and then we'll get into the eyeshadow portion. So the first product in this project is actually going to be my concealer, which I am already nearly done with. This is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. I believe it's the hydrating one. Yeah, hydrating camo concealer um, in the shade Fair Beige. And as you can see, it is already like really, really low. You can see all the windowing in there. But that's kind of part of the reason I added it in here. I know I can finish this up and I will finish it pretty quickly. I'll probably pull the stopper out of this one. I don't like to do that a ton, but I might go ahead and try to do that with this one just because I've done it before and it's not that frustrating. You can, with how much it just goes down to the bottom and you do see the windowing, it's not like there's a ton of product up around the sides and things like that. So it should be fairly easy to just utilize all of the product that I can in this um, and it not take additional months to get through it. The next product is my foundation, which is my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Foundation, something like that. <laughs> this is in the shade One Neutral, and I wanna finish this up. I have had it in my collection for a really long time, and it's a full coverage foundation, so it's not something I tend to use every day, but it is getting old, so I wanna use it before it expires. This is where I am currently at with it. So you can see it's it's pretty much, it's right around half at this point because this whole portion down here is empty. It's, it's sitting right about halfway. So my goal is just to use this three to four times a week, trying to make sure that I'm utilizing it regularly. I don't know how quickly I'll be able to get through this. I honestly, I have no clue how much product. I don't typically do a full pump of product for when I put it on, so I don't know how quickly that moves the product, but I guess we'll find out as we continue with the project. The next product is a reoccurring product within all of my projects. <laughs> I feel like this product has been around for such a long time where I've been trying to use it up, but this is my NARS highlighter in the shade Fort de France and I want to empty it, and I am so very close to that. You can see here, I have worked this down all the way to, there's a, there's a tiny little sliver up here, and then there's, you know, this little bit here. Now, after this video, I'm actually gonna go ahead and repress it, because it's getting a little hard to get all the product, and it's starting to crumble a little bit. My goal is to repress it, put it in the center, and make it where it's a little easier to use up these last few weeks months, however long it's going to take me, but I don't think this one will take me too much longer. The next product is my Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic Blush in the shade Pillow Talk. This one, I would love to finish this one up, but I don't foresee that happening because as you can see, there's like not even a dip really in here. My goal with this one is just to hit pan if at all possible this year. I have a feeling it'll be the product that I'm using pretty much all year. I only have two blushes right now though, um, as well as a couple of like little samples. For now, I just really want to focus on getting as much use out of this as I can and hopefully getting a really nice size pan on it. And the final of the five products is yet another Charlotte Tilbury product. It is my Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips 2 in the shade JK Magic. So this is just a lipstick. I have been trying to get this done for a while. It has been in my collection for a decent amount of time. But you can see it's pretty short and stubby in there. It's There's not a whole lot left. So my goal is to finish this up. I don't know how long it's going to take me. I do know it doesn't move super quickly, 
but I'm hopeful to maybe have it done in a couple of months four months, five months, something like that. But it's the lipstick I'm wearing today. It's a really nice neutral tone. I like it a lot, but it is getting old. So I think that it should be removed from my collection. So those are my five products that I will be working on for the next little while. Of course, some of them will be used up more quickly than others. Some of them may be with us the whole year. Not positive about that. <laughs> but the next thing that I want to work on is I want to work on getting a lot of my eyeshadows used up this year. If you saw my total collection and declutter video, you know that I got rid of a lot of eyeshadows and now I'm wanting to attempt to use up as many of the ones left as possible. I figure the best way to go about this is to do a little mini pan those eyeshadows type moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick five shades from all of the eyeshadow palettes I have left every single eyeshadow is up for grabs here. I'm just gonna pick five of them at random and then I'm gonna determine specifically what goal I'm wanting to hit with each shadow depending on what shadow it is. Because some of them don't have pan, some of them have really good pan, some of them just have a little bit of pan, and then some of them are just not shades that I'll use super often. So what I wanna do is just depending on the shade, I will make a specific goal for it and that will determine how quickly I roll it out. So I have a total of 64 eyeshadows within my collection at the moment. I'm going to randomly generate five numbers and then we are going to find out what those eyeshadows are. So first, we've got 15, 63, 45, 59, and 21. All right, let's find out what these eyeshadows are. Okay, so this is very interesting. I haven't actually looked at the eyeshadows quite yet, but I just have like the names of them and I remember most of them, but there's a couple that I'm not unsure of. But it selected eyeshadows from three palettes within my collection. So these are the ones that I will be working on for the next little while. First up from my Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette, it was the shade Celestial right here, which is a like gold rosy kind of duotone uh, eyeshadow. And this is how it looks. The next shade is from my Going Coconuts palette. And that is the shade Get Kraken. So that is this shade right here, which is a deep Brown. And as you may be able to see here on my hand, it does have a slight shimmer, like a silvery shimmer to it. The next shade is from my Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette, and that is the shade Orange Soda. So this guy right here, and that's what it looks like. After that, we're going back to the Going Coconuts Palette, and it picked the shade Culotta. So this guy right here, and this is what it looks like. And then the final shade chosen was from my Desert Dusk palette again. And that was the shade Saffron, which is this really bright red right here. And this is what Saffron looks like. And this is the whole quintet all together. Now let's talk about goals and what my plans are for each of these shades. So starting with Celestial, you can see I don't have pan on it. Um, so I these shades are pretty deeply pressed. So I don't foresee hitting pan on it anytime too soon, but I do really like the shade. It's a very easy shade for me to use. I think that with this palette, I can use it with honestly all of those shades. So I think it will be very easy for me to dip into almost every day, in which case I want to use it a minimum of 50 times uh, just to make sure that I'm actually getting some really good use out of it. So. That's my goal with that one. I wanna use it 50 times before rolling it out. And who knows, maybe we'll see some pan from that. The next shade is Get Kraken, and that one also doesn't have pan. I don't know, these shades are deeper than I expected them to be. So they're a little harder to hit pan on than one might think. Um, but ideally I would hit pan on it. I think what I'm gonna say is pan or 40 uses whichever comes first. And I'm just going a lower amount of uses with that because I don't love it as much as some of the other colors and I do think it'll be fairly easy to use, but it'll still be something that I have to kind of make myself use. So 40 uses or pan. Then we go to the Soft Glam Palette and Orange Soda. You can see it does have pan. Um, so I'm thinking, obviously pan and emptying are <laughs> quite different but these shades do move fairly quickly. So I wanna say 
I'm not going to, I'm not going to say I have to empty this in order to roll it out because I do think that would take just way too long. However, I think that I could say very easily 30 uses on this one because I do have this other matte shade that I can use, uh, Culotta, as a like base shade. And this is kind of a base shade to me. So I think between having those two in the same quintet, I don't want to have to force myself to use both of them a ton. So I think 30 uses is a good amount of uses um, split between the two. I can do that, um, which actually, since we're talking about that, Culotta also has pan on it. So I figure with both of these shades being kind of base shades and being similar in like usage that I have on them and will use them, I think that I just want to say 30 uses per both of these shades. And then the final shade, which is Saffron, this one is going to be tough for me. So I'm actually going to say that I only have to use this 10 times because there is a dip in here. I do like the shade. That's why I kept it rather than all these other bright shades in here. Um, I actually like having the red around to use every now and then. So I will use this. I just won't use it a ton. And so I don't want to set a goal that's going to feel unachievable. It might take me a while to even hit the 10 because I'm not going to want to use it every single day. So yeah, I'm just going to say 10 uses on this, then I can roll it out. So those are the products within my 2024 project pan. I will be panning the five products at the front, and then I will also be working on my five different eyeshadows. Again, I know I'm getting this out towards the end of January, so January is not going to have a whole lot of progress. So I'll probably just wait until the end of February to put out my next update, just to be sure that I'm getting actual progress before giving you guys another video. And as a little reminder, I am pregnant and my due date is in March. So there is a chance that I will have a really big slowdown uh, in March and April. However, I still plan on filming. I still plan on wearing makeup. Um, I love to wear makeup. It just makes me feel like myself. So I definitely plan on wearing it through postpartum. So yeah, these next few months may seem a little topsy-turvy as far as like my scheduling and things. Um, how quickly I get out content, but I will be continuing this project through the year and I'm very excited to see what progress we make. I hope you guys are having a fantastic start to your year and I will see you in the next video. Bye.